Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Ginny from Polly's Paper Studio and today I'm creating with the Vintage Birthday Tags which is a printable available from our shop. So I designed these tags to have beautiful vintage images and layers of florals and sweet birthday sentiments added to the top. I opened this file in Word and then I clicked the corner and drug it in so that I could size it to fit my A2 size card perfectly. I printed two of the same and then I clipped out the one that I wanted to work with. I thought a great way to give this smaller tag a bigger impact would be to layer it. So I have two of them here cut out the same pattern and I've added an eyelet to the top one and then foam spacers in between so that this now becomes a dimensional embellishment. I'm just going to add a bit of twine now and attach these together. This twine is waxed so I am confident that it will not ravel on the end and I'll just pull that through the eyelet and back through itself and that will secure it on the top of the tag. We can trim that later when we add it to the front of the card. So now we'll take off all of this backing from the foam tape and adhere it to the bottom tag. Now we have a dimensional embellishment that has a beautiful topper to add to our card. For my paper today, I'm going to use this vintage girl pattern from Photo Play paper and I love the combination of the beautiful floral on one side and the polka dot on the other. So I decided to utilize both sides of this paper for my project and I just alternated between the layers and switched out the pattern. My card base is an A2 size four and a quarter by five and a half inch and I have it top folding and finished on the inside with coordinating paper leaving room to add a sentiment and now I can begin to add the layers for the top so I've got a dove gray card stock here and my first pattern is going to be that beautiful floral and that is just going to have a nice small border on the outside of that card stock and my second layer is going to have more of that foam tape so that helps to build the dimension and to keep the busier patterns separate I'm just going to center that and that will leave a nice floral border. I mentioned earlier that we were going to alternate those patterns so now we are switched to the polka dot side and like on the previous layer I'm just going to secure that leaving that border and then from my stash I found this sweet little black and white stripe and I thought that it coordinated perfectly with this card. I'm just going to add it there. I'm going to secure this now to the card base and then we can continue layering. Added this now and we can add the next layer which is this beautiful die cut doily and I'm just going to secure that with a bit of hot glue. Now it's time to add that beautiful birthday tag and I'm going to clip off the excess trim now and secure this on to the card. That will go right in the center. I've got a sweet little cupcake charm here and I want to add that to the top and I have found that I can adhere some string on to my card with the charm tied on and then cover that with a vintage button and I think that's the easiest way to add this. Just make sure to leave enough room for the button and I've already tied this vintage button with a little thread through it so it will stick down with the hot glue and that covers those tails and adds a 
pretty little detail at the top to coordinate with our birthday theme. I've also tied a bow here of pink plaid and topped it with a second bow of loopy twine and another vintage button for the top and I'll just secure that here at the bottom of the tag. And last but not least, I have a few sequins and I'm just going to place them carefully so I don't cover any of that sentiment and I like to use the Tombow glue for sequin. Here is the last sequin for the corners. So that is all for our card created with the vintage birthday tag printable from our shop. I will leave links in the description below for that as well as links for our social media handles. You can find us on Facebook and Instagram and our blog and our Etsy shop. So if you enjoyed this video, please leave me a comment and give me a thumbs up. And if you're not already, I would love for you to subscribe. As always, I'm wishing you a happy and productive day, and I'll see you in the next video.